Hello guys, this is another step-by-step -step video guide on how you can participate on the multiply finance testnet that is currently ongoing, right? So it's very easy and simple and I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step guide on how you can position yourself for their upcoming airdrop. So the multiply is actually a reward asset platform, right? And you can see here, they are being backed by Pantra, Elevation, Sparta, Tacware, Goodwater and Put Fund, right? And also, they are already in partnership with the likes of Binance, OKS, Copa, and C4, right? So this is why I'm actually rooting that these guys will do well. So to participate on the ongoing testnet, all you just need to do is to go to the description of this video, right? Click on that first link you are going to see. So it's going to bring you to this interface here, what you are seeing on my screen. So this is the platform where we are going to be doing some testnet task, right? So once you are here, first thing you will need to do is to come up here and click on Connect Wallet and then go ahead, select Metamax, then come to your wallet and connect. It's going to bring you to this interface. So there are three steps we need to complete here before we can gain access, right? So the first one is to initialize the compatible test. So I'm going to come down and click on initiate right and it's going to load and then take me to my wallet once again then from my wallet i will confirm this and then go ahead and click on confirm again now of course you can see the first one here which has to do with initiating wallet compatibility test is done you can see it has ticked it for me so i'm in step two verifying the message so come down again and click on verify message. Come to my wallet and confirm it. Now you can see second one completed. So we are in the last step, which has to do with enabling layer two access. So I'm going to click on enable. Good. You can see successful. And now you can see my wallet has been connected right here. And this is it interface this is the dashboard right so the next thing we need to do here is to switch network so we are going to switch to the multiple network so that it will enable us to carry out the test net task so come here and click on switch network and then on my wallet i will confirm this good now you can see claim 100 usdc for free so we are going to be claiming these tokens which we are going to be using for the task. So go ahead and click on claim 300 USDC. And you can see free token claim successfully. So I have claimed these tokens. The next thing we will need to do, see here, come down here, see this place where you have Ethereum is already on St. Polar. Click on it, right? Once you click on it, you are going to see other network here. So we are going to be adding all these networks, right? So let's start with BNB chain. So if we click on BNB chain, it's going to take us straight to our MetaMask. And then from here, approve the network. Once the network has been added, it will bring you back here. You can now see that you can claim free token, which we are also going to be using for the testnet. So go ahead and click on claim tokens. But before then, as it's loading, you can come here and click on faucets so that we claim faucet we are going to be using to pay the gas fee because without it you might not be able to get it so you will come here and paste your wallet address so i'm just going to copy my wallet address here so let me cancel this first and then go ahead copy my wallet address i will come down here and then paste it go ahead and click on send 0.3 bnb right remember this test token not reformed and then i'm going to approve this this is the picture so i think the no not this okay i think is this uh, i think this is a musical instrument as well so i'll click on next uh, this musical instrument so verify so just have to okay you have seen it it has gone through you got 0 0.3 bnb so you can even view this on explorer right but then let's go back again so i'm going to click on this place to claim free 50 
usdt on bnb network so if i click on claim i will still copy the contract address because i will want to add it so i will come here click on confirm your token have been claimed successfully right so if i open my wallet right away and i'm on the bnb uh, network so you can see this is the one i claim for the gas fee so let me import the usdt that i just claim now so i'm going to click on here paste the contract address and once i paste the contract address here of course you see it's going to format here usdc so just come here and click on next and you're going to see you see the 15 usdc i claim so i'm going to click on import and then it has been ported successfully look at it here so i'll close this and then go back again so if i'm here now i'll come here where i have usdc right click on it and then select usdt and once i select usdt i need to claim this usdt as well 50 usdt on bnb network so click on claim and then copy this contract address so that we will also add it after claiming so i'm going to click on claim good it has been successfully claimed right so open your wallet again and this is the activity so we'll come under tokens click on tokens then click on this three small dot here and then click on import tokens so you we'll come here and paste that contract address we copied right so it's going to reflect here and then you can see usdt so go ahead and click on next you can see the amount here so I'll click on import and then i have successfully imported it and you can see it on my wallet so i'll close this again and then come back here we have usdt click on it and finally let me claim btc right so I'll click on claim and then come here copy the contract address confirm good successfully claimed so let me also go and add it to my wallet that is adding the contract address so remember switch over to tokens and then come here and click on these three dots then click on import and finally paste the contract address which we copied so you can see it here btc on bnb network so i'll click on next i can see i'll be getting 0 0.0005 btc so i'll click on import and goods it has been imported right here so I will go back again and here that is all so the next thing we need to do is to come here again this place now here you have this bnb network so we are going to switch again to better chain network so click on it so i'm going to click on approve and now the network has been added to our metamask so the next thing we need to do is to get faucet which we are going to be using to pay for gas fee so come up here where you have better faucet click on it and it will take us to the better chain platform where we need to request for the faucet so come here and click on agree and then agree right so here we will need to paste our wallet address so let me open my metamask and copy my wallet address so click on copy close this back so i'll come here then paste my wallet address then come here check this box to prove that i'm not a bot and then finally click on drip token yes okay you can see request test submitted you will receive the testnet token in your wallet so let me even open my wallet and see if the token has reflected so okay okay yeah you can see it better i have been given five dollar that is one better worth of five dollar to which i'm going to be using for gas fee right so we'll go back again to the platform and now we are going to claim 50 usdc in better chain network 
So come here and click on claim. Then this is the contract address. I'm going to copy it as well. Click on confirm on my wallet. And then your token has been claimed successfully. So let's add the contract address so that the token will reflect on our wallet. So still remember it's under activity. So we'll switch back to tokens and then come to these three small dots and then click on import. So I'm going to paste that contract address I copied to reflect here. So you just click on next and see the amount, then import. And I have reported it, you can see it here on my wallet. So I will go back again. So remember, we are still under the better chain network and we have received USDC. So the next thing we need to receive is USDT. So I'll click on USDT and then click on claim. The same process, copy this address, confirm. And once that is done, we'll go back again, open my wallet under tokens. I will come to these three dots and then click on import tokens. Then paste the contract address. And it's going to reflect here. I'll go ahead, click on next and then import. Finally, you are going to see it reflecting on my wallet. So close this again and then come back to this USDT, click on it. And finally, let's claim on it to group. So, so once you select it, we'll come down here and click on claim. This is the contract address too. So we'll copy it. And then I will come here and click on confirm. Token claim successful. So I will open my wallet. Under token, let me add these tokens by importing the contract address. So same process that we have been doing. You can see it here, it has reflected honey. So I'm going to click on next. You can see 15 honey will be given to me. I will import it. And then on my wallet, you can see I've gotten all the tokens here. So I will edit this again. Come here, you can see it's completed. Once you have gotten all those ones, so what you need to do, you can come back here. Let's start with Cipola, right? So what you are expected to do here, the main task is for you to stake. You can see now I'm having a balance of 100 USDC on this my Cipola, right? So all I just need to do here is to come here and confirm my staking. If I want to stake all, you can see all the 100 is here. If I want to stake 50%, I'm going to have 50 here, right? Or you can still come here and input the amount you want to stake by yourself. And then let me go and click on max and then come here and click on confirm your staking. And of course you can see stake initiated. Now from here, what again you can do here is to come here, switch the network from Cipola. You can switch back to BNB network. And once you have selected BNB network, Come here and select the token you want to stake, right? So I can click on USDC or USDT. Select any one you prefer or even BDC, right? So any one you prefer, you can select and then stake. So for instance, let me assume I want to stake 50. Now you can see from this 50, this is what it will amount here. So I'm going to click on confirm. And then I'll click on proceed. Now, of course, you can see all these steps are going to be completed. Now it's on step two, which is approval of request. So I'll come to my wallet and approve the request, right? And now you can see it have moved over to this one. Approve request to deposit amount into multiply, right? So the same process. I will come down to my MetaMask and confirm the transaction. So you can see it has gone through. Now I'm having zero balance here. So this is hard to stake. So you can also come here, switch to 
for that network like Bera network. And then you are going to select the token. You can see the token has appear here. If you want to use USDT, anyone you want to use, you can actually come here to select it, then come down and confirm and your staking will go straight away, right? So let me show you, if I go back to, let's say, Cipola test net, we staked on this network. So if you come to unstake, let's go to unstake. So if I switch to USDC, I stake to USDC on the Cipola network, remember, now you can see it here, the balance has reflected that I have 150 to claim. So you can go here and claim this. Claiming it means that you are unstaking it, right? So once you come here and click on confirm, then you have successfully unstaked this fee, right? So that is basically what you need to be doing here. So you need to stake, and within some period of days, you see come back on stake, just be testing the platform, right? And then you are good to go. So coming back here, okay, see now, coming back to our holdings here, I can see holdings. Now I can see one has reflected. So the other ones have not still reflected. And this is the one on DMD network. This is the status. This is the transaction hash, which you can use to check it on chain, right? And this is the date. And this is the amount we staked, right? So now if I switch over to staking here, you can see two of the staking has actually reflected as well. So you can see two of them here, success, success. So if you come here on stake, this is where you are going to see the ones that you have on stake. So if I have on stake, just as I showed you previously, it's actually going to reflect here. And if you want to restake, this is where you will come and restake after you must have on stake it. So it will come here under restake so you can restake it again, right? Or better still, you just come back here, follow the process, and then you are good to go. So this is basically how you go about the multiply testness. So guys, make sure you interact on this platform once in a while. Don't just do it once or twice and then you forget about it. No, that is not the best way to do testnet. So you can even run it maybe twice every week just to make sure that you are making some transaction in the blockchain. So to get started, use the link in the description of this video, follow the guide, and then you position yourself for the upcoming airdrop. Thank you guys and see you in my next update. Bye for now.